Hey everybody, welcome back to this channel. This is Killot404 and welcome to the first of many videos in a video series where I'm going to be discussing many things about Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, to news, to confirm things, to just in general reminiscing about the awesomeness that was Gen 3 the Hoenn region. In this first video I'm going to be talking about the possibility that Diantha, the champion of Pokemon X and Y, might be making an appearance in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, or at least my speculation that she will be making an appearance in those games. I have to set some precedent though, and I'll take you back all the way to Gen 4, Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. In that game, as you guys know, the champion of that region, of the Sinnoh region, was of course Cynthia, the first female champion ever to be introduced in the Pokemon franchise. Now, she actually didn't just appear in that one game, in fact, she appeared in every subsequent game up until the remakes of Silver and Gold. Yes, she made an appearance in Black White, Black 2, White 2, and of course, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Now, why was Cynthia put in those subsequent games? I don't really know, nobody really knows, there's no real good answer. However, though, in my opinion, I think the reason why she was put in those subsequent games was to kind of put this driving force kind of to the theme of the games. You know, in Gen 4, she was kind of like this archaeologist. She wanted to know about the origins of Pokemon, of space, time, Arceus, all that stuff. And in my opinion, I think she was definitely a driving force in those subsequent games, especially in Hard Gold and Soul Silver, where in the Sinjo Ruins, she has this whole dialogue about Arceus and the origin of Pokemon and all that stuff. So she definitely had, in some sense, a part in kind of developing the story in those games. Now, going to the present, we have Pokemon X and Y with its newest champion, Diantha, also a female. She's an actress, and one of her main things is that she knows all about Mega Evolution. In fact, she's one of the few trainers in the game that is able to Mega Evolve her Pokemon. Now, going to the Gen 3 remake, we already have confirmation that there is going to be new Mega Evolutions in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which is great. So now, wouldn't it be a great opportunity to introduce this master of Mega Evolution into the game and make her be the driving force of Mega Evolution in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, just like Cynthia was a driving force about archaeology in her past games. I think that is a great idea. It's also interesting if it is true to kind of speculate on what kind of interaction that she'll have with the story and the player because, you know, in my opinion, in Pokemon X and Y, she was kind of a little bit of a letdown. You only saw her a couple of times in that one cafe and then she disappeared for a long time in the game. You didn't really see her all that too often. And then all of a sudden, right at the end of the game, it's almost like a surprise. You actually fight her as the champion of the Colossus region. So hopefully if she appears in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, hopefully she can have some better communications with the main character and also too maybe she might have interactions with other characters maybe you know she'll get together with Steven Stone both are really strong trainers both are champions in their respective regions they both have gray hair I don't know maybe they'll be interested in each other and go on a date I don't really know for crying out loud but it's just still fun to kind of speculate on what kind of I guess effect that Diantha could have in these remakes just because she has so much utility in the character of who she is again very strong trainer in Mega Evolution Mega Evolution Evolution already confirmed in these games, I think there's going to be a great driving force if she does appear in the remakes. And also too, now that we're on the subject of champions, it also comes to my mind, who is going to be the champion of these remakes, Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire? If you guys didn't know back in the original games, Ruby, Sapphire, and also Emerald, there were different champions for those games. In Ruby and Sapphire, it was Steven Stone who was the champion of those games, but in Emerald, it was actually Wallace who was the champion of that game. And even more important than this is the fact that there are rumors right now stating that Nintendo is going to be remaking Emerald in the form of Pokemon Delta Emerald, which is really interesting in terms of a rumor because this would be the first time that Nintendo would remake a third game in a Pokemon series. Remember, there was never a remake of Pokemon Yellow, nor was there ever a remake of Pokemon Crystal. So again, this would be the first time Nintendo would ever do something like this. And I guess at that point, it would be simple. Uh, Steven Stone would be the champion of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And of course, Wallace would be the champion of Pokemon Delta Emerald. So there's a lot of great ideas here. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know, but that's all the fun of me making these types of videos. I just want to give you guys my thoughts and just discuss a lot of different things about Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire because I'm just really excited to play those games. I cannot wait till they come out. Please comment in the comment section below. I do read all of the comments. Do you think any of my ideas are credible in this video? I want to see your guys' input. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video.
Peace.